Sup cunts. Episode 6. Craziness. Same as before. Honest reviews. No money changing hands. No endorsements. No bullshit. Uh, if it's shit, I'm going to tell you it's shit. If it's good, I'm going to tell you it's good. Uh, people have been sending me heaps of stuff, which is good. The only downside is it's mostly been really good stuff, which is forcing me to be nice. And I hate being nice. So stop sending me good shit. Send me more shit shit. Um, the standard of stuff that I've been hearing is really good for the most part. Um, so yeah, keep sending me stuff. Send it through Facebook. Send it through uh, links on um, YouTube. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, off we go with the first one. First up is a band called The Shorts out of Country Victoria. They sent me two songs uh, called The Drugs and Tango. They've got an EP coming out soon. Um, interesting, the two songs were quite different. The first one, uh, The Drugs, which is playing in the background now, really kind of enjoyed this one. I like the guitar sound, kind of frantic playing. In some weird way, it reminded me of the Dead Kennedys towards the end of their career back in the um, Bedtime for Democracy album. Some of it reminded me of that. Not the vocals, uh, but just the guitar sound a little bit. Really enjoyed this. The second song they sent, Tango, was quite a bit different. Um, this one sounded, Tango sounded more like something you might hear off a late 90s, early 2000s Burning Heart compilation. A little bit more generic sounding kind of hardcore punk, but still good. And I like what he did with the vocals there where he managed to be melodic but not whining. Um, some people seem to struggle with that. If you're going to do something melodic, like it has to be some whiny bitch thing. Um, this is not. These guys are really good in uh, what they do. I'm keen to hear the rest of the EP. Um, it's hard for bands out in the country too. And, you know, we should support some of the regional bands out there because a lot of good stuff comes from uh, country Australia. I'm going to give The Shorts, The Drugs and Tango three and a half hay bales out of five um, quite enjoyable check them out the shorts description will be the well, links will be in the description for the uh, video check them out up next is the dawdlers also from country victoria uh, with a song called cardinia um, don't know much about these guys at all uh, but the song's quite good it's a funny song about some pranksters who did a fake radio competition got some people to uh, come into a shop and shout out their name to win a prize um, yeah there's the, it's a weird one this one because the music is great um, slowish kind of punk rock riff big guitar sound the sound the, the production is great the guitar work there's some really nice lead work in this the vocals though not my thing uh, not my thing, rather than my thing, very funny. Um, yeah, no, the the music sounds great. Vocals, just not my thing. Kind of um, bogany, yobby kind of yelled vocal. Not terrible, um, but not of the same quality to me as the music. The music's great. The vocals kind of kill it, but still decent um i'd give these guys three and a half radio pranks out of five the dawdlers not too bad number three today is a song called abc her body by dog dick pink which is a fantastic fucking name for a band and i am an enormous fan of Dog Dick Pink. I saw them a couple of months back at the Punk's Picnic and they just fucking blew my mind. One of the best live bands I've seen in ages. Really a, a sense of kind of danger when they're on stage, chaos. They're like a six piece, bunch of members, um, just chaos watching them. The singer is fantastic. This mix of Nick Cave and David Yao kind of going batshit crazy all over the place and the rest of the band are just as crazy and they back him up really well um, really manic up until this point their recordings have been mostly demos and they just didn't capture the bizarre live experience that is Dog Dick Pink this recording comes pretty close um, imagine the birthday party 
particularly early birthday party, but with some synth work, some crazy electro synth stabs thrown in there as well. Uh, manic, crazy vocals, great guitar, uh, good rhythm section. This is a really good track. Some people go, oh, it's not punk, or well, fuck those people. This shit is punk as fuck, because these guys just go nuts, like. And I say guys, it's guys and girls. It's, uh, I think, three girls, three guys in this band. Um, so if anyone's counting and making sure I'm, you know, giving equal representation, there you go. Um, but yeah, this is fucking great. This just makes me want to go and see them live again once this lockdown shit's done. Fantastic band, Dog Dick Pink. Go see them live. This is a good track too. I'm going to give this one four and a half dog penises out of five. Um, yeah, this is one of the best new live bands I've seen in ages and recorded. This is good. This kind of grabs some of that frantic energy that they have. Check them out. Dog Dick Pink. Do it now. Next up is a band called Down For Tomorrow with their song Emily that was delivered with a quarantine music video which is um, yeah interesting the video starts with the drummer wearing nothing but a pair of um, tiny undies by the look of it not sure we needed to see it some of you'll be going you're just jealous you don't look like that <laughs> yeah probably but that's not the point um, this is terrible from the name, you know, Down For Tomorrow, just a cheesy generic sound, cheesy generic name, um, just, remember when, like, rock and roll and punk music was threatening, this is music that your mum would listen to and clap along and your nan would sit there doing the old, old lady clap thing, it's just shit, there's no point to this, it challenges nothing. Uh, it's just rubbish. Um, commercial, radio-friendly garbage. Like, it's not objectively bad in that they can all play their instruments. Um, voice is just that typical whiny, generic pop-punk shit. There's just... Uh, why? What, we don't need another 40 bands that sound like this. Everywhere I look, every fucking rock I turn over, there's another generic pop band pretending to be punks that do this, and it's just awful. Stop it. Go away. Uh, two and a half bee stings out of five, because that's kind of, it's an annoying. It's not objectively awful. It doesn't cause me grief or pain. It's like a bee sting. Listen to this shit. It's just annoying. No, go away, be gone with you next. So after that rubbish, uh, we've got something good. Um, the band's called Bunyip, and the album's called Cryptid Erectus. Bizarre little name for a bizarre band. Um, this album's crazy. I know these guys are from Victoria, and that's about it. Um, one of the most schizophrenic and eclectic albums I've heard in a long time. Starts off with a nice almost classical guitar noodling. Um, then the second song is straight out like metal. This varies from song to song, style to style. There's metal in there, uh, there's punk, there's almost bluesy country stuff going on at different times with interludes of kind of bluesy country guitar. Um, groove metal, thrash metal, punk, hardcore. It sounds amazing. The quality overall is great. Vocals are great, guitars and bass are great, drums are great, the songs are strong. I, I really really got into this and the best thing, I've, once I twigged after a couple of songs that things were changing drastically from song to song, I was almost excited for a song to finish just so I could hear what the hell they were doing and where the hell they were going in the next song. Um, very very eclectic release but that doesn't harm this it's not quite like anything I've heard. Um, just weirdness, but good weirdness. Not weirdness for the sake of it. This is a good album. I recommend, I would love to see these guys live. Um, see how they do it live, if they carry off the same bizarreness live. Um, really great album. 
everything about this is good. The variation, the songwriting, um, the instruments. Uh, it's just, it's a fucking, it's a complete package, very fucking good album. I'm going to give this one four and a half yowies out of five. Bunyip, Cryptid Erectus. One hell of an album. Check them out. And now for the part that you all really seem to like. The part where I rip the shit out of a band. Um, yeah. I don't even know where to fucking start with this. Uh, the band's called Lily, with an E on the end. Um, out of Sydney. The song is a cover. A Screaming Jets cover. There's a whole lot of fucking why going on here. Why cover the Screaming Jets? Why, if you're going to cover the Screaming Jets, cover this song? Why does the guitarist suddenly do these weird black metal riffs at one point? What's up with old mate's facial hair? Why does the bass player have LED lights on his bass? Why does she do weird phrasings? Um, why does the guy wear stockings on his hands? What's going on? Why, why, why? Who thought this was a good idea? Um, this is just awful. Um, it, fuck me, it's awful. Um, the vocals... I, chick can sing. But she's just doing weird shit with her phrasing during the verses. Um, randomly slow in parts, and it's as if sometimes towards the end of the verse she goes, Fuck, I need to race the rest and cram it in. And it's just, it doesn't work. She's trying to be different for the sake of being different, and it's shit. Um, it's a big fail on that score. It's soft metal. Um, just radio-friendly metal, again, that you... Your mum could go, oh, listen to metal, have a listen to this, it's great. And it's not, it's shit. Um, the guitarist, you know, he can obviously play, but weirdly, at times he does this kind of black metal -y thing where he's just hammering down on one string and it's just, it doesn't work. Nothing about this works. This was a terrible idea. Uh, why did you do it? Someone please tell me, if you're watching this, members of the band, which one of you thought this was a good idea? And once you recorded it, what made you think you should put it out? Because this does you no fucking favours. This does no one any fucking favours. This is shithouse. Um, just... Cheesy, and not in a good way cheesy. Cheesy, lame, try-hard... Uh, this gave me cancer. Uh, I sent this to about 50 different people once I heard it, and they all said the same thing, or variations of which. Fucking shit. Why? These were the messages I kept getting back. Why? What was the point? I had a look at their other stuff, because I was genuinely curious, and, you know, it's middle-of-the-road soft cock metal. Um... Bird can sing, the rest of the band, they can all play, and I'm told from people that know them that they're actually really cool people. Stick to being cool people, I guess, because fuck me, this is oh, just fucking awful. I would rather catch COVID-19 and die than watch this video again. I wouldn't even send this to people that I fucking hated. The only good thing this has going for it is they kept in that little symbol hit at the end. Um, there's nothing good to be said about this. I always try and find a positive if I can. There is nothing. The only thing I can think of is perhaps these guys are huge fans of Nick Cave and Roland Howard and loved Shivers, the Boys Next Door song, and were just appalled by how the Screaming Jets covered Shivers and turned it into a festering pile of shit and thought, we'll get our own back by taking a Screaming Jets original 
and turn that into a festering pile of shit. Now, if that was the case, I doff my cap to you because you have succeeded. This is everything that's bad about life in one slab. This is bad. You're bad. Feel bad. I feel bad. Fuck you. It's awful. Go away. Fuck.